Hey everybody, Adam Savage here in my cave with a one day build that involves some sword play. Yes! Uh, no, I'm not actually building a sword in this one day build, no. Um, this is my version of Excalibur which I made in this very cave a couple of years ago. It is made out of aluminum and it is built using techniques I learned from my friend and mentor, Peter Lyon, the incredible swordsmith at Weta Workshop in Wellington, New Zealand. Well, okay, we're still under quarantine right now. I'm shooting this on my phone, but part of what's going on with quarantine is that like everybody, I'm cleaning my house. <laughs> I'm going through all of my stuff and I'm like slowly like taking care of things I haven't taken care of in years. Like, oh, finally getting rid of that shelf, finally tossing this thing away, finally fixing the inside of that closet. And one of the things I've always wanted is the ability to have my swords, sentences that I get to say, the ability to have some of my swords on display in my house. Um, and so I came up with an idea in my office. I have this beautiful uh, poster uh, of Kill Bill. Uh, in fact, it's the poster for Kill Bill 1 and 2 by Tyler Stout. What you should know is that Tarantino made a cut of Kill Bill 1 and 2 all into one film, and that's what he submitted to the Cannes Film Festival. And every now and then, Quentin shows it at the New Beverly down in Los Angeles, and a few years ago, uh, I don't know if it was the last time he showed it, no, a few years ago I flew down to LA just to get to see Kill Bill 1 and 2 all together. Um, and it was stunning. And I have a beautiful Kill Bill replica sword in my collection. And I was thinking, oh, wow, it'd be great if my Kill Bill sword could hang there in front of the movie poster. That would be, that would be kind of neat. Um, and then I thought, oh, actually the poster is, it's about 25, what is it? The poster is 25 and a half by 37 and a half inches. I could make a sword rack that just, that hung from the, hung from the molding. And so that's what I'm going to do. This is a one day build, but it is a kind of a one day test build. I'm going to make a raw wood sword rack and hang it in my house and see how well I like having it up uh, and having my swords on display. And if that works, then I'm going to paint it white so it blends into the wall. If not, I'll figure out something else. It's time for a one day build sword rack. <laughs> Uh, right, so the very first thing to do is to figure out my cut list. Uh, I happen to know, I'll start here. I happen to know that I've got a door here and I've got some molding up here and all the paintings in my office hang off the molding. So I know that I've got this Kill Bill poster hangs like this. And I know the dimensions are 25 and a half inches. These are the actual dimensions of the frame by 37 and a half. Uh, so the frame I build is gonna probably be an interior of 26. And I'm gonna make it 48, I'm gonna make it 10 inches longer. And also because I have all my stock in my shop already cut to a 48. Um, so this is gonna be 48 inches. That's the overall length. And then the interior is going to be uh, 26 inches. So it just hugs the poster. I'm also gonna use some Japanese joinery ideas to put this thing together. Uh, I am going to use tabs and slots with holding pins. And to hold the blades themselves, I'm actually going to use some dowels like this, half inch dowel with a quarter inch dowel through its end. I think that's gonna look neat. It's gonna require me to build a little drilling jig for uh, these dowels so they've drilled them all correctly. Um, but it still should be a fairly fast build. By the way, if you ever get a chance to see the whole damn affair, Kill Bill 1 and 2, you should. It is a stunner. And it's functionally different 
than the other film, than seeing them separately. It really is. It's fascinating. It's totally fascinating. There are a few reveals that happen at very different spots because the films are together. Yeah, it's worth watching. All right, let's get started. Satisfying. All right, I found some lovely pieces of wood I think I'd like to use. I might have another couple over here. No, I don't. Oh, wait. Oh, 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 oh. Do I ever? Oh. All right. So I have this beautiful, lovely piece of oak and a couple of other pieces of some fine woods. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is cut out the the 48 inch the 48 inch pieces that will be the main body. Let's see how long this is. 97. Well, it looks like the <laughs> 97. Really? 97. Okay. Uh, yeah. So that's not 48. That's 47 and a half. piece in half, I'm going to use my Japanese saw. say using a Japanese saw requires a really specific kind of mental concentration. Um, you don't want to put too much pressure on it. You want to be really gentle with it. And in response to that, it cuts better if you do. Look at that. Uh, it's a little wavy, but only just barely. Okay. So, now... Let's see how we did. Hey. Well, I got something wrong. Uh, that is okay. Ah! It was 97. Eight feet is 96 inches. I knew it was an inch off of the actual measurement, but I thought it was an inch under, not over, and therefore I made my accommodation in the wrong direction. That's the mistake. I, I think I need a merit badge for mistakes. Oh my gosh, that's exactly what I need. I need a merit badge for mistakes. Okay, that's another project altogether. Twenty-six plus one and a half inches is twenty-seven and a half. So this would be the other side, and then an inch and a half from that is twenty-nine. Thanks for those measurements across both of these.
All right, I have cut the ends of my crossbars, that's these two small pieces, and they will fit right through here, right through the long bars, and the sword uh, dowels are gonna come out this way to hold the swords up. So next stage is for me to cut four square holes. four holes. All right. I've drilled the I've drilled the middle part of these square holes out, but now it's time to make them square. And that is where the chisels come in. Hold the phone, Nanette. Yeah. I got it. I had the thing I needed. This is a um this is a square a square chisel. Yeah. Let's, uh, do I not have a thwacker? What the heck? No, oh, I don't want to hit it with that. Oh my God. It's like, it's the exact size that I needed. Unbelievable. All right, so that, oops, okay. So that right there is the rough assembly of the frame of my sword holder. Let me just see something here. I just wanna see if I, yeah, I guess if I have a sword here, it'll, it'll hang like that. Oh, so I think I got, I think I can do it so that, let's say, one of the swords is up here. Maybe the lowest one is down here. And then maybe one, two, three. Let's say this holds six swords. Okay. Okay. Uh, I think I've chosen which the swords, the six swords are going to be. I'm going to... Ladies and gentlemen, beauty. Oh, I love it when measurements match up with what you expect them to do.
I've got my cross pieces cut. I've got my big long uprights cut and drilled and the uh, dowels go right in them. That's really nice. Now it's time to drill the dowels so that I can have a dowel go through the front of it. But how do I do that? Well, with a drilling jig. And I've made one here out of some fat acrylic that I had. Listen, if you know an acrylic, if you have any access to an acrylic shop, someone who works with acrylic regularly, ask them if they get little scrappy scraps like this one inch thick uh, cast acrylic stuff is great to have little chunks of around the shop. So what I'll be able to do is put the dowel in here, drill the front hole there, and then put the dowel in here like this way and drill the back hole there. And then I have two nice holes centered for each dowel. This is great. Um, so, uh, gonna drill all 12 of these now. Did I end up with, bah! I ended up with one without a hole in it. It's great. Get one more drilled hole. This is uh
All right, I think the next thing we're going to do is assemble it, put it in the car, and take it to the house, and try it out in the house. that I am mighty pleased with that um, and this is a, you know this is a test fit I'll still have to cut the holes there but let's see here okay now it's time to see here what we got yep so sword can sit there there's one So the first sword is Excalibur, and you know what? I think these swords, I think their scabbards are separate. Yeah, there we go. So then, we've got a uh, lightsaber. All right, lightsaber I think is a very reasonable one. It might not make the cut. I don't know. This is a tough one. Uh, I think Boromir. Yep. Oh, yeah. Oh, hey. Aragorn. I think definitely Kill Bill. Definitely Kill Bill sits there because it's Kill Bill poster. I don't know. My Jack Aubrey, my Jack Aubrey sword, my hero screen built Jack Aubrey sword. I feel like that is definitely a contender. I don't think the lightsaber goes. I love it, but it doesn't go. have that I really like is my beautiful, I just have this wooden boken, uh, just a wooden practice sword. I really, I think it's really lovely. Yeah. All right. Time to take these home. Hang it from my, hang it from my molding. See how it looks and if I like it. Well then, we'll take the steps to finish this up. Welcome to my home office. This is where the final assembly and installation of the sword rack will go. And you get to see what my home office looks like. Um, one of the side effects of the lockdown has been um, I've noticed among me and the people I know who are on therapy is that all of us have gotten to see the insides of our therapist's houses. <laughs> and that's really fascinating because you don't often get to see that. I mean, unless your therapist has an office in their house, which happens. Um, but this is, the, this is the, the tested equivalent. You get to see the inside of my house. So I mentioned I have this beautiful Tyler Stout poster. Uh, here we go. Here it is. Um, you can find these on eBay. They're crazy expensive. Um, and I, I paid real money for this, but it's a masterpiece. I had to have it in my collection. Uh, and uh, I'm going to uh, wrap out this video with a time lapse of the Sword Racks installation. So enjoy.
there you go. Uh, my sword rack is now successfully installed. While I am not positive that I want to live with my Tyler Stout poster covered with swords, I'm not sure I don't. And I'm really, really pleased with the execution of the woodwork. It uh, definitely shows some advancement and maturation on my part as a woodworker. Uh, and now my swords are in the house. Here they are in order. At the top is Excalibur. I built that as a one-day build. Underneath that is Boromir's sword. That is a full tang spring steel <clears throat> mofo built by Peter Lyon at Weta Workshop. Uh, third up is an exact replica of the bride sword from Kill Bill using all of the same parts and findings that the production designers and prop masters used on the original film. Below that is my grind of uh, an Aragorn type sword that I learned to grind swords on and under Peter Lyon's direction at Weta Workshop. Under that is a beautiful uh, custom saber I had built and below that is one of the screen-built Jack Aubrey swords for a master and commander. You will see him using a version of this sword when they are boarding the French ship in the uh, at the end of the film. Thanks for joining me, guys. This has been an awesome one-day build. See you next time.